YouTube, it's Diana, aka it's me Diana, or just Diana. So as you can tell, I hit 400 subs, which is pretty amazing because I felt like I just hit 300 subs a few weeks ago. I actually hit 400 subs uh, last week, a uh, week from today actually, on Christmas Eve, which, I mean, I was pretty shocked because it just kind of went by really quick, and actually right now I'm creeping up on 450, and it's only been a week. It's amazing. I mean, like, the support that you guys give me is crazy. I, I love it. <laughs> I mean, my view to sub ratio is pretty good. I think it's about almost 50%. I get about two, around 200 views per video, more, um, you know, more or less on some videos, obviously. But, I mean, the views and the likes and the shares, they, they all help, and it's greatly appreciated. And it's just nice to know that, you know, all the work that I do put into my videos, sometimes I put in a few hours between editing and commenting, or commentating, commentating, there you go, commentating over the videos because, I mean, obviously I'm no pro yet and it's just, I mean, it's nice to know that, you know, y'all guys enjoy it. So, yeah, thank you. But also, I wanted to use this video as a kind of reflections video of 2013. I'm sure 20,000 other people are going to be uploading videos similar to this like reflecting um over this past year but this is my channel so i will say what i want to say pretty much <laughs> so 2013 the good the bad and the ugly i'll start off with the ugly and end with the good so we can end this video on a happy mood so anyway the ugly the obsession that i grew with call of duty it was gross and it was it was bad now that i look back on it it was terrible i played it every day and it just it was really, really bad. But, I mean, like Gunsmoke said, thank God for Call of Duty Ghosts because it definitely broke my disgusting Call of Duty habit. Okay, so now the bad. As some of you may know, I did go through a breakup earlier this year and it was a four year long relationship and it was a pretty big deal. It was a pretty big part of my life. But, I mean, after ending a four, it was a mutual breakup. But, I mean, after that, you kind of just it kind of takes a blow to your self-esteem and self-confidence a little bit i feel i mean like you, for me at least it was kind of like well you know what happened what was wrong what was wrong with me what did i do type stuff and i mean that kind of it, it took a blow on my self-confidence and i mean i still haven't fully recovered from it like i'm over the breakup and you know i'll, I'll always love him i don't see myself getting back with him ever really i mean i won't say ever because i don't know the future but i mean i it just it's still, it just takes a blow to your self-confidence, and I'm not fully 100% back there yet. But anyway, with that being said, a lot of good things have come from that breakup. I mean, I'm finding myself again, which is nice because I was so involved with that relationship, and I lost a sense of who I was. So it's nice to realize, like, you know, coming back what I want in life and what I want to do with my life. I moved in with my brother and just have gotten a lot closer to my family as a whole, which... I love and the last thing I wanted to talk about or the last good thing that happened to me this year was YouTube the I mean YouTube has been an incredible journey I've met a lot of amazing people and I have built a lot of great friendships just from YouTube like it's crazy but looking back at 2013 I don't regret anything that I've done I mean if anything I've learned a lot and grown a lot a lot from everything that's happened I mean I think I've grown more in this past year than I have in the past three years of my life so before I let you guys go I just wanted to mention that this was Reaper and I's first bro cam ever but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I wanted to wish you guys a happy new year so please like subscribe comment thanks bye